brook trout, spring brook trout in particular, things are looking pretty prime condition wise. Go with old standby, drop a rig, lake clear wobbler, small crawler threaded onto a slow death hook, and that's a light spoon. So I'm going to be able to work that through, you know, four to eight feet of water as slow as I can just to get that slow death hook rolling nicely. And if there's anything around, it's a pretty foolproof tactic most of the time. Hit it on the way back. I was just letting my line out and he hit it. All right. Caught me by surprise there. for this lake. It's still nice. Look at that. Specs on the nice. Yes sir. going to go a little bit bigger than the last one. Look at that. That's a real chunky one. He's going to go about right around 16 inches, almost bang on. Very broad. Beautiful fish. Well, things are going pretty well this, this afternoon. I've gotten in the habit of keeping my fillet knife with me now. So what I'm going to be keeping fish I got cooler with the ice and I make a point of bleeding the fish right off the bat because if you do that, get that blood out of the fish as quick as you can, keep them nice and cold, it's going to make a huge difference in the quality of the meat. When it comes time to clean it, prepare it, it's going to be uh, it's so, so much better condition than if you were to just drag it along in a stringer and keep all the blood in it and drag it around in warm water, it's just no good. See? They stole for you. Produce of Uganda. McDonald's export cigarette tobacco. Bring that with you. I think I will. Manufacturers of fine tobacco. Oh. Yeah, this place has not been used in a long time. <laughs> Just 
saw a big boil right there. Definitely a trout, like a big swirl. Straight up in the shallow stuff. 